I'm going to show you the audio feedback functions in the basic capnometry application. So there are two types, they are MIDI and threshold based feedback. And the controls for both are right at the bottom of the screen. So this is the basic capnometry application and we've got the MIDI feedback and the threshold beat feedback controls here. Each one has a start stop button and then a volume slider. Let's start with MIDI feedback. So I'm going to press play in the application to start the data flow. Here's my signal. Now, just as with the other applications, the basic idea of MIDI feedback is that the software will play a musical note whose pitch reflects the parameter being fed back. And it actually plays the note once per breath in this case, in this application. Now you can actually select which parameter to feed back through the MIDI feedback using this control here. Yeah. So at the moment it's selected to end tidal CO2, which remember is just equivalent to the height of the peaks in the short term display. And it's, and that same uh, parameter is recorded in the long term display as the, as the green trace. Yeah. So that's the most significant parameter in the application, of course, and you want that to be as high as possible when you're training. So let's see how that works. I'm going to press play now. And I'll turn it off again. So, so yes, that, let me say something about the, the range of the feedback. So there's a minimum pitch and a maximum pitch for that musical note. And they are set to be uh, according, according to the same range as the long-term display, which is currently set to at 30 to 50 in the units of end tidal CO2. So what that means is that if your breathing were at 30, the deepest pitch would sound. And if your breathing were at 50, then the highest pitch would sound. Yeah, so that's that's how it works. So that's that's the range, and you can you can of course change the range using this control, which works for for the long term display. So I'll leave it there for now. But I want to point out one more control, which is this one. It's called invert. It's a little checkbox. What that means is it it sort of turns the range upside down, which means that the deepest note plays at the highest level on the graph. Yeah and the, the highest pitch note plays when your breathing is at the bottom of the graph. Now, why have it like that? Well, my reason for having it like that was, was that uh, I think the deep notes are more aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, I prefer myself to, to hear a deep note. That's just a personal preference, I suppose. But if you like the same, then you can select invert and then your target is to is to get deep notes. You want the, the notes to go as deep as possible. So the so the deeper the better because the deeper the higher the end tidal CO2, which is what you want. Okay, now just a little more about um, the range of the of the MIDI feedback. Now in this control which selects the parameter. So I've got it selected to end tidal CO2. I could choose breathing rate and feedback that, but I could also choose CO2 threshold. Now, what does that mean? It means that, well, one thing I've got to do is ha have the threshold operating with two limits. So I'm going to se select outside there. Don't worry too much about that. I'll say more about that later. So now you see I've got two threshold bars and what this allows me to do now that I have CO2 threshold defined there is that I can use the threshold bars to define the range of the MIDI feedback. So in other words, I can make it much more sensitive by, for example, moving that one up and this one down. So now the deepest pitch is hit at 38 rather than 30 and the highest pitch at 43 rather than 50. So it's much more sensitive. So I'll just demonstrate that again.
Okay, so it's a high pitch because I've selected invert. So you get the idea of how it works. Now, if, if I were to get the breathing right up above the upper limit, that pitch would go deep. So that's the idea of MIDI feedback. Let's move on to threshold based feedback, which we've encountered before with the basic EMG application. And just to recap, the basic idea is that the threshold, sorry, the feedback will come in when something happens. So for example, a bell will ring when you tighten up beyond a certain limit. That was in the case of the EMG application. In this application, we can have the bell ring when for example, your end tidal CO2, which remember is the height of the peak, when that drifts too low, that would make sense if we could if we could feed back that. So that's the sort of thing that we can do. So it's the same basic idea, but a little more complicated because we've got we've now got two thresholds. There's one over here on the left, which feeds back the end tidal CO2 parameter, and another threshold which feeds back breathing rate. Okay, so I've still got one start stop button here, but but now I can actually independently turn off either one threshold. Yeah. So if I want to have only feedback on end tidal CO2, I can do that. Or if I want to have only feedback on breathing rate, I can do that as well. So let's have a look at the controls to see how to do that. So if I want to turn off this threshold on breathing rate, is this control, this combo box. It's actually already set to off there. So now that's definitely off. So, so now I'll get no feedback coming in for breathing rate. The end tidal CO2 threshold, that's set to below. I could turn that off as well, yeah, but I'll leave it to below to demonstrate it. So what I want to show you is that the, the bell will ring when the, the end tidal signal goes below the limit, which is currently there. Again, I can drag that with my mouse. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on the threshold feedback using the play button here. And now the bell will ring when the signal drifts below the parameter. So I'm going to, I'm going to cheat to achieve that by dragging the threshold. Okay, there it goes. So I'll stop it again now. Now, you notice I had to wait there for the feedback to come in till the end of a breath. So there was a slight delay, but you get the basic idea. The bell rang when the signal went below the threshold limit. So let's have a look at the, the second threshold now. Let's say I'm going to turn off this one for the end tidal CO2 and turn on the breathing rate threshold. Now this time I'm doing something a little more complicated again. I've selected outside with that control, so outside. And now you see I've got two threshold limits, one here and one here. Now the advantage of this is that I can have the feedback come in or the, or the sound come in either when it's too low, the breathing rate is too low that is, or it's too high. So let me demonstrate that again now. I'm going to press play. So currently the breathing rate is between the two limits. So I'm going to cheat a bit again by dragging one of the thresholds too high. I'll turn it off again. Okay, so you get the basic idea that I get a sound, which is a voice saying too high, when the breathing rate goes too high. And I'll get a different sound when the breathing rate goes too low. So it is, it's more complex and more powerful, but hopefully you get the basic idea. So that's threshold based feedback. So again, just to summarize, I can turn either one of them off independently, and I can also use them in double threshold mode 
which which tells me when I've gone too high or too low in either case. I could have set the, the end title threshold to be outside as well. Okay, that's threshold-based feedback. So now you're in a position to go back to the exercise, which remember was to explore audio feedback and especially threshold-based audio feedback in the context of mindfulness practice. So remember I said that especially the threshold-based feedback is particularly conducive to mindfulness practice because if, you, if, you, if you're doing mindfulness, then you don't want the feedback to be in your face, to be dominating your awareness. You want to be free to focus on your direct experience of yourself, of your body, etc. And the, with the threshold-based feedback, the feedback only comes in when something happens, like you drift out of your zone, so to speak. So of course, it's not